When taking photos, many people don't know much about setting, nor do they talk much about it. But if you learn to use it well, you will see a big difference in the photos you take, and at the same time, it will help you to get the idea for the shot quickly. In this video, Blue Lake Photography will provide three key points of setting in order to help you avoid endless attempts to go back and forth, taking gorgeous photos even just with your cell phone at home. So hurry up to take a look. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on your little bell to get more information on the latest mobile photography for free. When taking photos, the main subject usually accounts for the largest part of the picture. We will take this Taiwanese burger, for example. As we currently use the overhead shot, there is single surface on the lens to shoot. What we only need is to think up this surface a little bit so that it doesn't look too casual or too deliberate. If we shoot the Taiwanese burger, which is directly put on the table, this is how it will look like before there's any setting. It's just a plain table and Taiwanese burger in the house. Nothing worth seeing. Therefore, the first point of setting is Since there's only one shooting surface, just choose a suitable background first and simply lay it on the table. You can lay the wood grain, bark clay, fabric, etc. according to your own preferences, without special requirement. Although the first point seems to be pretty simple, the choice of background is actually that of the tone of the whole picture, similar to the choice of this wine when bartending. You have to identify the style and tone of the photo first, and then make changes on this direction and basis. After choosing the background, the next step is what we choose at the moment is the wood grain background. If we put the Taiwanese burger directly on the table, there will be more obvious grain texture due to the dark color of the wood grain itself. However, the surface of the Taiwanese burger is softer and smoother, so there will be a little bit more abrupt to match the material or the color between these two. In addition, when shooting food, it's not recommended to directly throw the food on the table, which also doesn't look so hygienic so it is usually placed in a container. In addition to the main subject and the background, all other objects that appear can be categorized as props in general sense, such as the containers here. Let's compare the effect on the picture when choosing different props. Here we use three plates made of different materials to contain the Taiwanese burger. Compare from the picture, choosing different props brings the difference in style and feeling. There's no strict right or wrong in the choice of props. It's more about how you want the photo to look like. Here at Blue Lake Photography, we want the overall style to be uniform and coherent, echoing the background. That's why we choose a wooden container of a similar color. We lower the large C-stand a bit and adjust the viewfinder so that the main subject takes up at least half of the picture. In addition, we add a thick jute cloth underneath the container in order to make the transition between it and the background more natural and to add a sense of hierarchy to the picture. If you think that a single Taiwanese burger looks too plain, you can also add one more so that the two burgers can be overlapped to increase the visual weight. If you feel that the surrounding area is a little empty, you can also add a few objects to make the picture a little fuller. After that, just press the shutter button, and you are done. Of course, the present approach is overhead shooting. But if we want to take a head-on shot or other angles, we have to consider the third key point. Here, we first remove the phone from the large T-stand and replace it with the desktop overhead shooting bracket. If you use a head-on or other angle shot, there will be at least two or even more shooting surfaces. And when the shooting surfaces increase, the sense of space in the picture can be increased as well. Even though the photo is flat, the real world we live in is three-dimensional. Therefore, creating a sense of space in the picture is also an important factor in how well the viewers can resonate with the photo. We can divide the sense of space into two parts, the actual sense and visual sense. The actual sense of space is the real distance and the size of the photo scene. For example, the cell phone lens of Blue Lake Photography 
is about 15 centimeters away from the main subject and 50 from the button of the table. This is exactly the actual space. And after the photo is taken, the actual spatial appearance will be recorded like this. But if your shooting space at home is not so large, you need to use some scenic arrangement to create a sense of visual space. For example, we now put black light absorbing clothes in the background. As you can see, when using a dark background, it will feel deeper visually. If you don't want the whole background to be pitch black, you can put other objects in the background. Since the dark background pulls out the visual space, even we place other objects on the location of the rear view, the whole picture doesn't feel crowded at all. Instead, it can pull out a near and far extension effect. When we use a low angle to shoot, you can make the Taiwanese burger look somewhat high, not just flattened on the table. Just like squatting a little lower to make legs look long and slim when taking portraits. If necessary, you can also use the background bouquet to deepen the spatial effect. If you haven't seen the three tips for background bouquet, go back and review them again. This is how it looks like. So in the future, when you take photos at home, remember to pay attention to these three key points of setting. Phone photography at home. Have you learned it? If you have any questions about taking pictures or arranging props, please leave us a message and we will make it into a tutorial video to reply. It's not hard to take pictures, just try it!